Hi friends, I've got a fun book to read to you today. This is called The Pout Pout Fish, written by Deborah Deason, and the pictures are by Dan Hanna. Here's the title page. It says The Pout Pout Fish, and look, there's all these little fish swimming on here. What do we think this book might be about, friends? Does this fish look like he's happy or sad? Yeah, I think he looks pretty sad, too. Let's find out why. Deep in the water, where the fish hang out, lives a glum, gloomy swimmer with an ever-present pout. Look, all these other fish around him. They look very happy. And he looks sad. He's pouting. Pouting means when you're... Hmm, you're hanging your lip out and you're being kind of sad. You might be feeling a little blue. I'm a pout pout fish with a pout pout face. So I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Blub. 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 Look, he's just pouting into a little puddle because he's so pouty. Along comes a clam with a wide winning grin and a pearl of advice for her pal to take in. Hey, Mr. Fish, with your crosstown frown, don't you think it's time to turn it upside down? Says the fish to his friend, nice thought, Mrs. Clam. I hear what you're saying, but it's just the way I am. So his friend the clam here looks like he's trying to cheer him up. But is he in the mood to be happy? No, he looks like he still wants to keep pouting and being sad. I'm a pout pout fish with a pout pout face, so I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Blub, blub, blub. Along comes a jellyfish. He floats through the ocean, his tentacles all trailing in a gentle locomotion. Hey, Mr. Fish, with your daily scally scowl, I wish you wouldn't greet us with a grimace and a growl, says the fish to his friend. Mr. Jelly, I agree. I'd like to be more friendly, but it isn't up to me. I'm a pout pout fish with a pout pout face, so I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Blub, blub. Blub. Along comes a squid, quite a slender, squiggly sight. She is squirmy, she is squelchy, she is slightly impolite. Hey, Mr. Fish, you kaleidoscope of mope. How about a smile, a little joy, a little hope? Says the fish to his friend, Mrs. Squid, I would try, but I haven't any choice. Take a look and you'll see why. I'm a pout pout fish with a pout pout face, so I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Blub, blub, blub. He's spreading his dreary wearies everywhere. Everywhere he goes, he's just letting people know he's sad and he's pouty. Along comes an octopus with eight great arms, covered on the underside with tiny sucker charms. Hey, Mr. Fish, let me tell it to you straight. Your hulky, bulky, sulking is an unattractive trait. Says the fish to his friend, Mr. Eight, my chum, with a mouth like mine, I am destined to be glum. I'm a pout pout fish with a pout pout face, so I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Blub, blub. Now, along comes a fish in a silent, silver shimmer. The gang has never seen before this bright and brilliant swimmer. She approaches Mr. Fish, but instead of saying, hey, she plants a kiss upon his pout, and then she swims away. Look at him. Do you think that kiss might make him happy? Let's find out.
Mr. Fish is most astounded. Mr. Fish is just aghast. He is stone-faced like a statue. Then he blinks and speaks at last. My friend, says Mr. Fish, I should have known it all along. I thought that I was pouty, but it turns out I was wrong. I'm a kiss-kiss fish with a kiss-kiss face for spreading cheery cheeries all over the place. So I'll smooch, 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 smooch. So, all that pout-pout fish needed was a big old smooch to feel better. I know sometimes when I'm feeling pouty or when I'm feeling sad, sometimes just a hug from a friend helps me feel better. Or sometimes doing things that I like might help me feel better. Maybe drawing a picture about how I'm feeling. There's lots of different things you could do when you're feeling pouty and sad like this to make yourself feel better. What do you like to do? Those are good ideas. Okay, friends. Thank you for listening to my story. I'll see you next time.